Okay. Yes, that's a trash bag hanging out of my drawer. Just how I roll. You just give it a pull, and it comes out, the next little flappy thing is stuck to it, kind of, sort of, like, whatever. You get the point. Um, this is a, good lord, where did I go? Food Pantry Haul. My brain is scattered. That's just the way it is. I'm gonna deal with it. I did a video earlier and realized, well, crap, I should have finished putting away everything because I have been cleaning out my cupboards and rearranging cupboards and my counters look like junk because I have stuff I decided I need to get rid of. So my counters... <laughs> And I'm not going to redo the video. Y'all are just going to see it the way it is when it comes out. I don't care. I'm redoing all of my cupboards, all of my shelves. I don't care. Stuff is going. I'm purging. I just don't care. Um, so, you know how, you know the saying, it always looks worse before it gets better. Well, that's how my kitchen is looking right at the moment. Just is what it is. I just me. It's just me. I am just me. We're going to get into all the stuff that I got at the food pantry. And then you can see this video. Um, it'll go up on one channel first, and then it'll go up on the other channel next. And, we'll have, and the reason I do that is because I have two different groups of followers on both channels. Um, <coughs> which is fine. Um, so, alright everybody. I'm going to turn you all around. Kind of, sort of, not really, because you're already facing the way you need to be. So I, I guess I'm just going to shut my mouth, quit my gabbing, um, pause this, get you set up so you can see what's going on. It's not a very big thing, as we all know. Things are, like, crappy. Um, but I'm always blessed with everything that I do get. So, with that being said, everyone, hope you're all having a most wonderful day. Smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment, a nice one, because I'll get rid of any of the other ones. I don't care. It's my channel. I want positivity here because I want everyone else to be filled with positivity. And we all need that in our lives. So, everybody, let's get on with this. Okay, so the light bulbs in my kitchen light overhead is blown. So, yeah, we have that going on already this month. So let me get this on. It keeps growing here. I'll be able to tuck it, you know, right in my lap. We got two half gallons of milk. They're good till the 30th. That is amazing. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make some pudding or something. Um, and do some baking. Um, I did get some eggs. Um, they reuse cartons. They get their eggs in big cases, so I'm going to do the egg test and uh, make sure that they're okay. I got some bread. This is, I believe, wheat rolls. And, oh my, my, my. I'm going to have to make me some garlic bread. I got that. And then I got a soup bowl bread. I have to put them in the freezer. With it just being me, it's kind of difficult figuring out meals because I used to cook and then take meals with me up to Fritz's and try to get him to eat and all that. Um, and then I would pick up groceries and just constantly cooking. Um, but anyways, where to start? Where to start? I wanted to get the bread out of the way. This bag is like leaking, like, I don't know, like floury stuff, like, you know, like, um, what do, what do you call it? Potato flakes. But there can't be. It's, I guess, like frost. So we have some mechanically separated turkey. Now, I know a lot of people get upset with me when I say this. There is quite a bit here that I cannot eat because of my disease, my stomach problem. Gastroparesis is strange. 
something about that mechanically separated turkey makes me very ill. I don't know if it's a preservative they put in it or something, but yeah, I can eat turkey to small amount. So what I'll do is stuff like that that I cannot eat, I share with the community. I put it in the freezer at the community building and other people do the same. If there's something there that I can eat, I'll bring it home. And it works out in the wash. You know, everybody shares stuff. This is a really big, like, two-pound roll, am I right, of ranch-raised uh, ground bison. Bison. It is a buffalo. So, yes, it is two pounds. I will, um, yeah, uh, yeah. It's out of date, so hopefully it was frozen long before the 12th. Um, gosh, I'll find, um, that's a lot of, a lot of meat, guys. I guess I'll, uh, gosh, two pounds is a lot. Um, find people. And have that on the side to cook up and check. Then we have some smart dogs. Why are they smart dogs? Plant-based hot dogs. Okay. So they're not really meat. I'll have to try them. I've been wanting to try um, more vegan and that kind of thing. Um, just to see if it makes a difference. I will tell you, I can eat organic bananas, but I can't eat uh, regular bananas. That alone tells me that it has a lot to do with the chemicals that gets put on our food. Last time I got a ham, it was salt, uh, has a uh, sea salt on it, and I am allergic to sea salt. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about getting sick? 85% lean ground beef. That's awesome. And we have a, why I said that is there's a ham. Um, and I am looking to make sure, and I'm always reading the label. Water, salt, okay, does not have sea salt, um, which is a good thing. I will... Probably thaw this one of these days when I have nothing going on. Separate this into manageable size packages for me. Refreeze everything because it is already a cooked ham. And, uh, yeah. Make a lot of meals out of that. It must have been frost or maybe something came out of something else. Another package of masks. I've been giving these away because we don't... Use them very often here. We have some antibacterial wipes. Whoop. I use a lot of those. This bag has, oh, yummers. It's got apples, cheese, and pretzels. These are awesome. Why am I smelling fish? No, I'm smelling corn. I'm smelling corn on the cob. So, we have some fresh cilantro. That's what I thought. I wanted to double check because if I make a mistake, everybody's quick to correct me. We also have... <coughs> oh, that gave me coughs. Some seedless grapes. I take a lot of this stuff like this. I'll split this in half. The grapes, like quarter them or something, and I'll drop them in a bottle of water and let it set a few hours in the refrigerator and make um, infused water, and then I can drink the water. A red onion, a um, kind of wilty squash, but he's still good. And then we have... I thought I seen something. I didn't. Nope. It's a piece of cilantro. 
a couple of ears of corn. That's pretty cool. I might just make a pot of soup. I'm going to set them over towards the vegetables. There is some frozen. I see some ice cream. Upside down, it is Briar's Natural Vanilla. Get over there with the frozen stuff. Then we have some Power Bites Western Style. Um, are they eggs? Pork sausage, real eggs, green and red bell peppers, onions, cheddar cheese, and bread crumbs. Pretty cool. And then we have some Jimmy Dean's Sausage Biscuits. That is awesome. And then we have a package of RS Franks. So far, I'm doing pretty good on what I can and cannot eat. Don't see a whole lot that um, I will take to the thing. Okay, so... I will have to get a hold of Michelle, see if she's going to make any banana bread. Um, our Walmart, well, these are Del Monte, so these are okay. Our Walmart sells Del Monte. Um, but there's some bananas. Are they organic? Organic. So I can eat these. But I have two big things already that I picked up. I'm going to put them on top of a thing right there. Oh my goodness, I love sugar snap peas. And I use, no, man, I, I'm worried about my tummy. But I love to make stir fry with these things. I might just do that. We have a couple of potatoes. They look like good baking potatoes, especially that right there. And then we have one, two, three. Well, I can't put them all in my hand. Oh, and a third potato. He's got a little bit of a problem, but he's still cookable. Next, we're just going to go to the box. Well, let's get this one that's here. This is bathroom stuff. We have some more copper tone. This is SPF 50. I, I'm sorry. I like to have tan to me. Then we have natural bug repellent, which I need. I can't, I'm allergic to DEET, um, toothpaste, and this stuff is amazing. It's uh, mouth rinse with peroxide in it. I'm going to hang on to this little box. Snack, we have lemonade cookies. This is a box of cereal that I can't eat because this would throw me into a fit with my stomach. Um, it's not open, open. It's just popped loose. But that is, I used to love this cereal. Oh, man. And then we have Boost. What's the date on this? I was actually thinking I need to go on a liquid diet for a few days because... And this is January 2023 because my stomach is in a flare. So, yeah, that's been coming handy. We have some cheesy tuna. Guys, they've gotten me hooked on these. And these are the honey mustard, the ones I love the most. Yeah, $6 for a big bag. I love them, though. And... Beef gravy, that's perfect timing. So I'm going to keep the beef gravy over here by me, the boost by me. Then we have some uh, traditional spaghetti sauce and some skimmed fat-free evaporated milk. That is awesome. Let's put the canned goods in this box. Another can. This is diced tomatoes. Black-eyed peas. Uh, sliced peaches, pinto beans, applesauce. I'll leave that out. That'll be part of my food today. Pears. 
another can of pears. I just kind of set things inside of other boxes because they had all these little boxes and I just kind of dropped boxes together. Another can of pinto beans. Some cut green beans. Another can of applesauce. And some whole kernel corn. And we'll take this flat. I'm going to keep this because I'll be going to some um, vendor events. And I like the flats to put stuff in. It just makes it easier to pick up when I'm ready to leave. Some unsalted tops crackers. Um, I'll just set them right there. A can of that. Some um, green split peas. I'll put them right on top of there. These are all going to go in my pantry. And that makes two bags of those. Um, a bag of rice. Make sure this isn't what's leaking. Um, some dried milk. Um, beef stew. I'm going to lay that over here so it's not in the way. I actually have two of those. A big can of chunk light tuna. That can go down in there. And a big can of white chicken. And some peanut butter. Now we have two boxes of macaroni and cheese. And I will refill this box. I also got some Ariel um, Ultra Concentrated with Febreze detergent. I don't normally use liquid detergent, but... And then I got more of this Downy Defy Damage crystals that you put in your wash. This is frozen. This is fully cooked pulled pork. And you put this in, you cook it, warm it up with barbecue sauce and make pulled pork sandwiches. Oops, that's going to go over here to the freezer food. A big package of Swiss cheese. Some frozen corn, some, I don't think that's leaking from this package, ground beef, butter, another ground beef, Oops, let me get my phone over here. Now, see, this is more my manageable size of ground bison. And then we have two fruit cups. I'll let them thaw. Just set that out of the way. And then we have the last box. I'm not sure what's in here. We have some sugar in a raw, and I love this stuff. Splenda and Truvia. I'll put these in my, I'm creating a picnic basket. I'll just put these in my picnic basket. So I'll keep them right in the brown bag for now. Then we have a can of mixed vegetables. It's corn, peas, carrots, and it looks like lima beans. Then we have some beef stew. Another can of mixed vegetables. Oh. This is really dead. Uh-oh. It's leaking out of the can. They probably didn't notice that. That's fine. We'll just get that right out of our way. We don't want to take any chances of anyone getting sick. Um, there is some thin spaghetti, which I will go ahead and put this in my spaghetti canister. So let me put, well, I can't quite reach up there. 
I'll just put it there when I put it away. It'll go in my spaghetti canister, golden grams, cereal bars. Um, right now, let's set them there. Pancake mix. Beef flavored rice. I like these. These are really good. Then we have Southgate spaghetti with meat sauce. Some, oh, Greek vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, guys, have you ever had this? I'll tell you what, this makes a great marinade for chicken and pork. Oh my gosh. I've never had it on beef, so it probably will work good on beef, but it's really good, but I have not seen it in a long time. So, this is amazing. Then we have, <laughs> is that really wasabi? Oh my goodness. I love wasabi. Oh my. Yeah. Mm. Just saying, guys, I love wasabi. And we all know, a little bit goes a long ways. We have some tuna and they're both tuna. <coughs> some chicken noodle soup. <coughs> what is it with the price of soup, guys? Have you seen some of the Campbell's prices of soup? Vegetable. And now I get some mustard. I've had to buy mustard. And the last little thing in here is tea leaf. Rainforest blend. Is it coffee or tea? Single cup coffee pot. Oh, I love these things. These are like the Folgers ones I've got. There's like a um, tea bag in here, but it's coffee. Oh my gosh, these are great for camping. And there's like probably close to a dozen of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 13 of them in here. Oh my gosh. Yep. Those are great for camping. All right, guys, hold on a second. I hit the stop instead of the pause. I'm sorry. I literally was sitting here thinking, I wish these were honey mustard, but they were had some spice to them. And then I got the wasabi, and I'm thinking, a little bit of wasabi on a plate, and then dip these gently in the wasabi. I wonder how it's going to taste. Am I crazy? Do you think it'll be good? I don't know. Ooh. I'm happy. That made me a happy camper. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.